Welcome back, boys and girls, to Dyson Sphere Program and our Dark Fog Polaris series. We are back here on Polaris 4. We were able to take down the uh, defunct coal mine that was here. So we can now build in this area the logistics for building our own Dyson Sphere components on this planet, which is what we want to do. We have uh, frame material right here, which is great. And then we have solar sails which are being brought into here. Not a lot of them. We don't need tons of them. We have solar cells being brought in here, which is amazing as well. And then we can also get in the components. Let's see. I think we have, yes, we have processors being brought in right over here. And those are the three items we need to make our stuff. So that should work out really well because we have also a proliferator line going right through here. And so if we set up our... This should not take too long for us to do either. If we set this up to go here, here, and here, and let's see, where do we want to put these? We can put them right in here. We're gonna put the Dyson Sphere components right in there, and then they're gonna run out and come into this here. So I'm going to actually remove that, remove that. We can actually delete this line here because the Dyson Sphere components are gonna come from over here. All right, let's go ahead and set up our proliferators across here. There we go. All right, so those will all proliferate now. And I think I'm gonna bring it back around this way because you want you want your stuff coming out of the, the logistics centers because if they come out of the logistics centers, you're gonna get a huger, it's gonna be a bigger stack of materials. These are all gonna be stacked in eights. If you take them out of here, they're gonna some are gonna be in five, some are gonna be a little little bigger. But you want them to you want to take them out of here because you get a bigger stack of them. And we want the no, we want solar sails. Where are those at? Those are all over here. No, where are my solar sails at? Oh, solar sails are over here too, aren't they? Yes, they are. Oh, I probably should have done. Uh. Oh well, that's okay. That's okay. I should probably should have, I probably should have done the solar sails Mineral depleted. on the outside because now I have to cross over. Yeah, that probably didn't work out so well. Can I reverse that path? No, that path's not going to reverse very easily. Okay, so we're just going to delete that, and we're going to bring this path. We're going to bring the solar sails on this first on the first one here. <laughs> I didn't I didn't think about that when I was setting this up, but we're going to bring the solar sails this way. And then we're going to bring these on the second path. And then the processors I'm gonna bring on this third path. Now, why did this not connect, I wonder? Is it because it's on a weird angle there? Oh, did, oh, I reversed the path, that's why. Like, what is going on there? There we go. Oh, and then I need to set this again to be frame material, there we go. All right. So we got all three of our components here. And then we want to feed that back into into here. Yes, we do. Okay. And so this is going to come out of here. And we're going to have those coming out of here, going up over this. Okay. 
then down, and around to here. It's going to be kind of weird. Can I fit a proliferator right there? Yes, I can. Okay. And then I can just have this. Actually, you know what? I could probably fill that back up with some paint. There we go. And then we could have this line just come like this and go into there. There we go. So that, that will that will help proliferate all that. Okay. So now we just need to bring this line down. And then we need to bring a line back on the other side. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna move that there. Mineral depleted. Let's go ahead and get our uh Yeah, we'll put those in like that. And then we'll have the output line coming this way. Or those. And those will just feed back in there and then they will just cycle out of there and be processed and stacked and then pushed out the other direction. We do need to get the power back here though because that's important. There we go. Nothing's nothing's unpowered. Okay, everything's powered. Good, good. All right, so let's get our let's get our input lines. Actually, let's go ahead and draw these lines down further first. We're gonna need a very long line of this. Need a very long line. These things. These things. Oh shoot. These things do not produce super quick. The Dyson Sphere Mineral components, I believe, it takes eight seconds per Dyson Sphere component to be made, and it only takes six seconds for the small carrier rockets. So we need significantly Mineral more... Depleted. We need more Dyson Sphere components being made. Polaris 4, Polaris 1. So we've got lots of stuff being depleted, which doesn't surprise me. We've had those mines going for quite a while. I hate that J-hook on the end. That drives me absolutely bananas. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that down for the moment. We'll figure out where to put that once we got the line in here. Because, yeah, we're going to need a line, like, probably this long, at least. Maybe longer. But we'll make it that long to begin with. And this is also going to put more strain on our power on this planet as well, which I don't. I think we're I think we're okay on power at the moment. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, we got we got plenty of reserves at the moment. Okay, so we're good on power at the moment. But we are going to have to. Uh, we are probably going to have to look at it here at some point, and uh, and change it up a little bit. All right, so that's good there. Good there. Get the output line made here as well. Oh, that's wrong line. All right, perfect. All right, little bots, come back to me, my friends. Let's go ahead and build our first one here, and then we'll just copy and paste it all the way down the line. So Dyson Sphere component. We need three inputs here. There we go. And then we need an output. Perfect. And now, we can copy and paste all the way down the line. And we can also build... more as we go and we do have some spots here that don't have power we also need to give it defense here as well let's put a tower defense in here like right here and right here and some power in here too right there and right there in case we need to expand that out all right so those are all being made now yeah, see, these are very, these are coming out very, very, very slowly. The production on these is a slow, arduous process. 
It does not happen quickly. We do have some coal on us. We also have some of these rocket boosters on us. We also have foundation material on us. There we go. Got rid of the foundation material. That's nice. We also have some blue proliferator paint. Where do I have proliferator paint coming in? Right over here? Beautiful. Just throw that right in there. That's awesome. We got rid of that. Light mode. Looks like everything else on our world is working pretty damn good right now, which I'm very happy about. Where are those going? Over here. There we go. We can dump that off. What about those? Oh, that's uh, the quantum chemical plants. Okay, that's that's making crystalline explosive units. Which I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with those, but... All right, we got crystalline components there. Perfect. That got rid of some more supplies off of us. Now, one thing we did need to look at is why are we running out of glass? Oh, we aren't running out of glass so much anymore. Interesting, okay. Get rid of all those. I want the bare necessities on me. Okay, so we got we got a little bit of that. Okay, so we got our 10,000 there. These are all components that we're using right now. Perfect. I like where we stand. Okay. So this should take care of our situation over here. Actually, it looks like it's already alleviating it somewhat. So the rockets are being produced. This whole line, this whole production line is going like gangbusters. I say we even extend it a little bit further. Yeah, we're going to eliminate some of these oceans here. I hate doing it, but it has to be done. Well, it doesn't have to be done. I want to do it. <laughs> I want these lines to extend out even further. And let's put a little power in here. And then let's put a defense in the middle. There we go. That way, if the dark fog ever does try to come back, we'll be ready. All right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so that should hopefully, now that we're making these here... That should hopefully start getting them down. Yeah, it's starting to get them all the way to the end here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. There's the first ones, and they're starting to filter in. They're starting to get, they're starting to get fed all the way down the line, and there's the last one. Excellent. So that took care of that. That is awesome. And it looks like our solar sails are going okay here. So, um, yeah, it looks like solar sails are going gangbusters. Let's look at the entire... Let's look at the entire star cluster for solar sails now. It's been going for a little while. It looks like we are consuming a lot, but we have been making a lot as well. So it looks like that is going pretty good. Frame material, it does seem that we are going into the negative on. Um, so we may have to check that out and see if we need to up our frame material a little bit. Because we are using a lot of frame material to make these... Uh, it takes five to make those and the frame material is taking what how, how long does it take frame material to be made frame material is kind of slow six seconds and so we may need to make some more frame material uh uh production here before very much longer because it does look like our frame material is falling behind yeah it's falling behind by about 600 per 
our banana tubes are starting to get eaten up faster as well. So because we did this, we're going to be losing a lot of our stuff here. What's going on here? Why are these why are these stopped? Because the carbon nanotubes aren't getting out of them? That's interesting. That's very interesting. I think what we're gonna do is we're going to stack the carbon nanotubes here using the pilers. Because the pilers put a little gap in. That's the thing, is the piler the pilers will put a little gap into the system. And it'll allow it'll allow for an output to occur where there may not have been an opportunity for an output to occur before. You can use the pilers for several different things. I usually use them for this, just to make the output lines flow a little bit better. That is interesting. Very interesting. So these are getting backed up anyway, even though my carbon nanotubes are flowing uh, are flowing better now, because this is all full. Huh. Hmm. That is curious. We do have lots of quantum chips though coming. That's good. Because quantum chips have allowed us to start making. Uh, um, we make warpers with the green cubes now. And our, our uh, research is going gangbusters over here, it looks like. It looks like the... Depleted. Looks like two of the towers are going great. But the third tower is not getting any white cubes at all. Light mode. Huh. The universe matrices are not being made fast enough, it looks like. Maybe we need to make another... Maybe we need to make more towers. Maybe we need to make more towers. I don't know. The blue's good. The red's good. The yellow... Wait, is the... Ye yeah, the yellow's good. We got plenty of cubes. The cubes are not the problem. These purple ones might become a problem down the road. But it looks like even them, they're going gangbusters. And these are completely going, okay. But it looks like, it looks like we're just not getting enough white cubes out. Interesting. We got three towers, but the, the we got one, two, three, four, five, we got six six towers making white cubes but it's still not enough i mean our research is flying along i'm not i'm not saying it's not but we could use some more towers i think so i think what we're gonna do is we're going to manufacture some more towers here so we do need to build these here we'll need we'll need computer chips for it which we have plenty of chips over here We got plenty of chips. And then all we need to build them is the glass and the magnetic coils and some iron. And I think we'll make 30. There we go. So I think these stack 15 high, if I'm not mistaken. glowy cubes. They're so pretty. Replication complete. 
All right. And then if we do this, we can stack. We can take that, copy and paste it. And then we do need to power this. Let's just go ahead and put a big old power tower right here. Actually, no, we just need a, we just need a little uh, Tesla tower. There we go. And then we can bring this over here. We just basically wind this back and forth between them. There we go. We made 30. How many do we have left now? We have none. Oh, good. We made 30, so they are 15 high. Nice. Okay. Cruise ended. So they are 15 high. So we've got more research even happening than we did before. Which I absolutely just love. I, I just love, love, love that. And we might even expand this further on down the road. So I'm just going to build this back like this. Because we'll probably expand it even further. Would be my guess. And maybe I should just do that now. Do we have the materials to do it? We probably do. We can make 5, 10, 15. Why not? Let's just go for broke. I know we're I know we're now suffering on power on this planet. Yeah, we need to get some more we need to get some more power going on. I'd love to see those towers completely lit up. My science towers over here completely lit up and they aren't yet. Because we aren't making enough, uh... Replication complete. Now, the one thing this might force me to do is it might force me to make more purple cubes. Because, yeah, the purple cubes are now winding down. So I think we will need to make more purple cubes as well. Which means we'll have to bring in some more, uh... We'll have to bring in this over here like this. Mineral depleted. And then we need to bring this up and above like that. Oops. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Because, yeah, we're going to need to build another tower of power over here as well. And that's, this will be for purple cubes. There we go. And then what we can do is we can put the output for it right into there. Because that's where the output line is anyway. And then we can just go ahead. Replication complete light mode. There we go. So we do need to check and see what it's doing to our other cubes. Okay, it is. It is. The blue is suffering a little bit. Green is going down a little bit. So, we see, we may need to enhance our... Yeah, red's kind of holding its own. Yellow is kind of going down as well. So, we'll probably need to build more yellow, red, blue, and green towers as well. I don't know why I built the double tower there. Mineral depleted. There we go. Single tower should do. Because, yeah, we've upped our research a lot. Oh, yeah, it's finally filling these up almost. Almost these are almost all the way full. Now we need to go look at our power situation before we finish up. Because we've got the power going on over here, yeah. We've got a lot of artificial suns going here, baby. A lot of, lot of artificial suns happening. Holy artificial suns. Those, that's, a, that's a lot of them. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to just wall that off. There we go. We don't, we don't need that. 
Actually, you know what? Instead of doing this, I don't need that there. Those were put up at a time where we actually needed that. I'm just going to extend this out. There we go. And we're just going to we're going to extend this line out and just make another make a huge line of artificial suns here. Oh, I need to have artificial suns in my inventory. That would probably help. Let's go ahead and put a little a couple power towers here just to make sure that this stuff stays operational okay ground fighter damage is up by 20 percent and space fighter damages as well that is fantastic news okay and then we're gonna do the same thing over here perfect this should just give our planet a nice boost for power. And let's see what our power is now. Yeah, we're at 5.3 gigawatts, and we're using about four. So that 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 makes everything on the planet run just way smoother. Now that's not none of that is proliferated. That's interesting. I should probably have these being proliferated coming into here. There's the graphene going out. We've got graphene in there. Do I have proliferator paint around here anywhere? I don't think I do. That's making carbon nanotubes, but we got plenty of those. Huh. Do I have a place? Could I bring in? Let's see, let's see if we got a. Uh, I don't know if I have a supply set up for this. Sometimes I'll set this up. If I don't, I can go set it up, no problem. Let's do uh, blue proliferator paint. Uh, distribute uh, requests from other distributors. It does not look like we do. So we're gonna go fix that problem right now. I'm going to put those... Oh, that doesn't go in there. I'm going to put these guys in there. There we go. And, um, yeah, we're going to go fix that issue right now and get that squared away. Because I'd like to have blue proliferator paint coming over here. So that we can proliferate that. As well as that. Actually, let's line these up better. Oh, I can't. Okay, that's fine. There we go. That'll go through there. And then what's coming out of here? Is that... That's, uh... Graphene coming out of there. Okay. So I could set up a proliferator here as well. And proliferate that as it's coming out. I mean, this may be redundant, but... We may have it being proliferated elsewhere as well. But that's okay. Okay. We're going to go over here, and uh, we have our proliferator paint coming in over here. Oh, we have no we have no tech being done right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that for right now, because that'll allow our tech to build up a little bit. Okay, so we got proliferator paint here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a little, a little substation here that's going to start delivering proliferator paint out across the world for us. And it's not gonna do it's gonna do it by bots. It's gonna do it by these little bots that we have. Depleted. Just 
distribute to other distributors. There we go. And... This we can just have start filling up. Now, as you can see, it is starting to pick a little bit of proliferator paint up. I'm going to grab like 800. And I'm just going to take it over to this other place because I want to get that going immediately. It's going to deliver it over here eventually anyway. And it's, it's, it's got some headed over here right now. But it takes a, it takes a hot second. There we go. And all I really need is a is hundred of it. It doesn't need a ton. There we go. There we go. And now that's all being proliferated. So now these are going to be making extra graphene. Mineral depleted. Every time they make it, they're going to be making extra graphene on this side. Oh, wait. So this side here has not caught up yet. Oh, because it's not reached down there yet. That's why. It's like, why is that side not caught up yet? Oh, this is using fire ice to make the graphene and to make... Oh, we got fire ice coming in down here, too. Okay, very interesting. So many wheels in motion, boys and girls. That's, that's the thing with this game. There's so many wheels in motion. There's so much going on at one time. By the way, we did clear all of the seeds from the galaxy that were out there last time uh actually it looks like there's a seed right there going to from nuki to dibna so i think i think we need to go take that seed out and then we need to go nuki nuki we need to nuke this system here because it has a it has a hive in it that's sending out seeds so yeah, we need to take that seed out. We'll do that offline, and then we'll go to the Nuka system, and we will nuke that system. <laughs> we will nuke the system, boys and girls. We will make sure that it can never threaten Mineral us again. Depleted. All right, we're going to restock on all of our stuff here. Now, I do have some antimatter on me. Okay, so that antimatter's gone. And then I do have some of those computer chips on me, which I don't need anymore. So we'll dump those back into here. There we go. Got that there. We got the, the suns that I can put away. All right, I think, I, think we're, I think we're good. We got everything on us we want. I can actually put those away as well. I'm going to grab out like 50 of them. 47 I guess that's good enough I just saved us a little storage there I actually probably do not need that many of the, the those there I, I probably don't need to use a slot on the let's see first of off I do first of all I do not need that on me Where do I have the... Ah, oh, there we go. So I have them here. Yeah, I'm going to take these out of here and put them in there. And I'm going to... I'm actually going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of that. And I'm just going to grab like 90 of them because that's going to be more than I'll ever need. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to store... I'm going to store these in here. Do I want to store those in there? I have these here, too, that I'm storing. I got a vertical launch system on me for some reason. I got a couple of those. I know I have vertical launch systems being built here somewhere. Mineral depleted. Well, there's those and that. Do I have any of those on me? I don't think I have any ray receivers on me. No, I don't. Okay. 
So yeah, I'm gonna store some of those in here. Some of my storage is in there. I'll just keep a few out just, just for emergencies. And that gets us down quite a bit on our stuff, which I like. All right. Got several minerals being depleted. One on Canum. The Canum Victorium is losing a lot of the minerals. So that's that's okay, though. That's okay. I'm going to do one last check here on our... Let's see how our production's going here. Yeah, we definitely need to up our frame material production. Because frame material is falling behind. And although we have tons of frame material being built, the frame material is falling behind on us. So we need to up this production here on the frame material to make it worthwhile. But we are going to have to do that next time, boys and girls. I just looked at the time and we are way over time for today. But hey, you know, that's how it usually goes when you're playing a fun game that you really enjoy. You get way over time and then you're like, oh my God, where did the time go? But thank you everybody for joining me on today's episode of Dyson Sphere Program, the Dark Fog Polaris series. We will be returning to this very soon. I guess I can do that. There we go. Uh, we will return next time and we'll be going to... I'll have destroyed that seed. And then we're going to try to get this figured out here with the frame material. And see if we can get that squared away. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button. Think about becoming a member and supporting me here on YouTube. And I'll see you next time for more Dyson Sphere Program in the Polaris Dark Fog series.